Warriors! 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 You already know how I'm rocking, bitch! Hey! What's up, y'all? If y'all don't freaking know by now, it's daggone playoff basketball, cuz. And I either want two teams to win this year. This right here, or the Rockets. I give it to them. They deserve that, man. CP3, he deserved that. Um, what's up, y'all? Your boy is back. Finally uploading the damn video in about, what, 15 years? I've been gone so damn long, Donald Trump done went ahead and started World War III. Good timing, Dylan. <laughs> you, you picked the perfect time to come back. Last night, if y'all don't know, if y'all living under a damn rock, if you living under a damn pebble, if you're living under a damn sand mine, Coachella was last night, <laughs> and um, it was amazing, okay? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was looking at different performances before the weekend came on, and I'm looking at these performances like, hey, yo, Chief. I'm going to keep it real with you. Nobody give a damn about what you're saying on this stage. <laughs> like, yo, I saw some performances and I'm looking around. I'm like, yo, this is the music y'all listen to? This, this is hot? That's, this is hot? Okay, cool. Um, shout out Daniel Caesar. He killed it as expected. Shout out uh, Cali Uchis. Shout out SZA. Shout out Kendrick. Um, who else? Who else performed that, that I cared about? Um, shout out Belly. Belly, yo, bro, I would like to take this time to say again, if you guys have not listened to anything by Belly, I need you to, don't stop the video to go listen to it, bitch. Finish the video first, then go listen to it before I get mad. Go and listen to his project. Go listen to his past, uh, his previous project called, uh, Mumble Rap. Go listen to his project. Go listen to everything, bro. Because I still feel like Belly is definitely one of the most underrated artists we have out here right now, dog. And he killed it on uh, uh, at Coachella last night. Killed it. He did his thing. The energy was there. The crowd was there. Everything. All right. And and I loved it. I loved his performance. Only thing that kind of pissed me off, he brought out Nav. I mean, of course you got to bring out Nav. You know, it's EXO, whatever. But still, Nav is still ass live. And um, he needs to get better. He That's all. I'm going I'm, I'm to keep it a buck. Nav needs to either get better live or don't perform live at all. Because he is complete ass juice live. Okay? Now that that's over, the weekend. Abel came out this bitch. And uh, he killed it. He killed it as expected. I'm not going to lie, bro. I was on Twitter all night last night during his performance. And I was going crazy because... It legit felt like I was watching Legend of the Fall tour, you feel me? I, I was sitting, I'm listening to him perform Secrets and, and Starboy and Party Monster and I Feel It Coming. And then he went and performed um, Earned It and Often and I'm like, uh, this ain't what I came for. Like, I came to be sad. I came to be in my feelings. I came to be on this bitch crying my eyes out, knowing damn well that if I went ahead and paid money to go to Coachella, I would have probably blew my damn brains out because, um, that's too freaking much money. <laughs> Expensive as hell. Damn, make no damn sense. I can't even afford... I can't even afford camera time right now. My camera about to die and shit. Like, that's how broke I am. I'm so damn broke. I go to the pawn shop to pawn this camera. They gonna look at me and say, Hey, bruh. Hey, I think you need this more than me. <laughs> like, that's how messed up it is for me. But we ain't gonna talk about me. Alright, Coachella. The weekend came out, bro. And he did his thing. He did his thing. Um, like I said in the beginning, I was like, yo, what the hell is going on, bro? I ain't coming for this Starboy shit. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, yeah, I ain't coming for this, man. And then he performed House of Balloons slash Glass Table Girls. He performed The Morning. He performed True Love. He performed Wicked Games. And I was like, my son, my son is back. That's what I'm talking about, bro. And then towards the end, he started performing songs from uh, My Dear Melancholy. He performed Call Out My Name. He did, an, he did an acoustic version to Call Out My Name, and it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. His, uh, the version he did of Call Out My Name and the version he did of uh, uh, Privilege, absolutely amazing. Anybody who says it wasn't, you're a hater. Deadass. But it was beautiful. 
it was seriously beautiful and what I love the most is like you can see the passion and and you could see like the pain in his face you know when he was singing songs like call out my name and and, and privilege because you know you you can you can relate you know and um, I just really enjoyed it I really enjoyed the performance and I already expected him to do his thing but he really really did his thing last night um couple complaints I got you know just a little tad bit things that I'm pissed off about um the damn crowd at Coachella the Coachella crowd gotta be like the worst crowd possible and I'm not just talking about for the weekend I'm talking about for every uh, every artist that performed last night the crowd was booty butt booty butt booty butt cheeks like shit was ass okay it was ass you got Kendrick out there killing it you got Vince Staples out there Killing it. You got Cali Uchis out there killing it. You got S SZA, Daniel Caesar. You got a whole bunch of people out here killing it, bro. And the crowd is just like, yeah. Whoa. Oh my God. I cannot believe it. Like, dude, just, I'm honestly positive. Like, a lot of people paid money to go to Coachella just to say they were at Coachella. Like, a lot of people they did not know who those people were that were on stage. You feel me? They just went there to get drunk, get high as a bitch, and that's it. They don't really care about the music. <laughs> Let's be real. Like, it was wild out there. Um, Coachella crowd was ass cheeks. Um, anybody who got a problem with that, did debate your grandmother. Don't care. Um, what else, man? Uh, what else? Was oh, yeah. Another thing. So, the weekend during his performance, he was like, this is for my, this is for all my OG EXO fans out there. And you had, like, a little sprinkle of fans in, like, the front row yelling and screaming, ah! And I'm looking at them, because the camera had pointed to the crowd. I'm looking at them, and I'm like, Huh? Like, you ain't no daggone OG EXO. And I know there's gonna be people. <laughs> Dylan, uh, how do you know? Why does it matter if, if they're a, a real or a fake fan? Oh my god. Yo, y'all sound like a whole bunch of bitches. Y'all sound like a, ba uh, 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 a bag of baby dicks, bro. When y'all come at me in the comment section and on Instagram. <laughs> Why do you care? Uh, I've been listening to The Weeknd since this, that, and the third, and I don't care if I'm a fake or a real fan. I don't care either. I just want to make jokes on YouTube. If you get sensitive about it, I don't give a damn. Um, but you can tell those fans were like newly new fans because when The Weeknd performed House of Balloons, when The Weeknd performed Crew Love, when The Weeknd performed Wicked Games, The Morning, all those same people that were yelling and cheering, I'm an OG, I've been here since the beginning, they didn't know the lyrics. They were sitting there lip sing no, 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 they weren't even lip singing. They were acting like they were singing the lyrics, but they weren't even doing that. They couldn't even pretend that they knew the lyrics. And then when he started performing Can't Feel My Face, when he started performing Starboy, when he started performing You Make It Look Like It's Magic, oh, oh. Cause I see nobody, nobody but he. When he started doing all that foolishness, right? They on the, cause I love you, Connor. I wanted to punch all them little ass kids in the face, yo. I swear to goodness. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna relax. <laughs> I'm gonna chill out. But yeah, man, for the most part, really enjoyed the performance. Already knew he was gonna kill it. Um, you know, he's been, he's, his first Coachella was what, 2012? 2011 around then uh, killed it man and uh, it's expected at this point now we just need some more new music and uh, can't wait we, we we what we still in April we still got the rest of 2018 to go so uh, whatever you got planned Abel we ready bro whatever belly got planned whatever the whole entire EXO got planned we are ready um I can't wait man I cannot wait so uh, great performance from uh, the weekend and Belly and you know everybody at EXO. Uh, Black is also performing at Coachella as well, and um, I can't wait to see that. And, you know he's not EXO, but still gotta support the homie. So um, yeah, man, I'm I feel like I'm rambling now. So uh, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. As always.
and join the squad. I had to do that. I feel good today, man. The playoffs is on. I just found out my baby mother died. You feel me? So I ain't got to pay no more damn child support. Yo, I feel real good right now, bro. I feel really good. You know, I feel like, uh, I feel so damn good. I might go ahead and impregnate a white woman. What is Wakanda? Like, nope, that was a terrible joke. That was a rip. Yeah, I got to be more careful with the jokes I say on this bitch because, um, Black Lives Matter gonna be busting at my door in about five seconds. Anyways, man, shout out XO, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.